Hello everyone and welcome to our weather update on this Miles wet and windy Saturday, January 20th, 2024. So today is the first day of the return to our usual westerly Miles zonal wet and windy weather. We had bands of rain moving in today from the west, getting heavier and more persistent as the, as the day went on. And we currently have a school line on the radar map going all the way from like Tyrone down through Northern Ireland down into Leinster here a bit more fragmented through parts of the parts of the Midlands here and also down into the south as well east of Cork for example here is the school line and that is as it as I said a narrow band of intense rain and gusty winds and this is all ahead of storm Isha tomorrow bringing widespread stormy weather and by the way this school line did have a a storm on it while it was around this sort of area at about 3 p.m and there were a couple of um lightning flashes around the coast of north leitrim earlier this evening so just to say that so here is the uk met office run the U the uk v short range forecast generated at 3 p.m. today, so going through this, we can see that that is that school line moving eastwards over the evening, um, bringing bringing many areas a spell of uh, intense rain and strong winds. That clears through by about midnight, and we're left in blustery showers through the early hours in the morning. Then tomorrow morning itself, we start to see the bands of storm Isha moving in. Um, initially a warm front bringing moderate rain, but the rain gets heavier, and the wind gets stronger through the day and towards evening on the back edge of all of those storm bands we see an intense squall line move eastwards those red colours there that'd be even more intense than today's uh, squall line um, that would probably be thundery as well quite widely with a lot of lightning on that um, into tomorrow into Monday we see these blushy showers coming in from the west some maybe with hail into Tuesday the showers die away but but, but they're replaced by a whole big wedge of rain and we see a warm front Tuesday morning briefly very mild on Tuesday with a warm sector but by 3 p.m. a cold front is clearing the east again possibly a small feature on that as well though that little line of uh, intense uh, rainfall before we go back into showers for Tuesday evening Wednesday is drier and less windy and just less unsettles and into Thursday in comes more rain. So here is the temperature forecast from the UKV. We will whiz through this because there isn't much to talk about unless we see something very mild. Um, so just generally tonight not very cold around 4 to 7 degrees. Um, tomorrow very very mild day along with Isha. So we'll see a swathe of temperatures up to about 13 degrees moving eastwards over Ireland during the evening. Now in, in, into Sunday nights, temperatures lower off to around 4 or 5 in the area, so a bit cooler then, but not frosty. Monday, quite a chilly day, high temperatures of 4 to 7 degrees, feeling quite cold in the blustery westerly winds. Now it starts cold, cold on Monday nights, but into Tuesday, in comes that next warm sector again, temperatures possibly up to the low teens, especially in the east for a time into Wednesday it gets cooler again. Possibly a slight frost for a time in the north on Thursday nights on or should I say the early hours of Thursday morning before on Thursday itself the next area of rainfall and therefore very mild air comes in from the southwest. So here it is the wind gust traffic from the UKB. So again from Isha will be widely impactful um, right about 6pm. By the way the strongest winds with the storm have been pushed back now. They used to be coming Previous runs showed them at about 3, 4 p.m., but now they're more like 6, 7, 8 p.m. So, um, 5 p.m. tomorrow. In the north and east, widely inland, between 40 and 50 miles per hour. But elsewhere, you're between about 55 and 70 miles per hour, even inland, higher than that on the coasts. And these very strong winds do push inland through Sunday, especially for more southern areas, you'll notice. Now actually towards the uh, end of Sunday, we see a core of extremely intense winds pa pass close 
to the north of Ireland there. And actually, Western Scotland sees a battering of winds gusting up to 100 miles per hour very widely, and then these intense winds move eastwards over Scotland. So I would, n so just to let you know, the whole of Ireland is covered by an orange warning. Northern Ireland, whole of Scotland, and Northern England, Wales, and parts of Southwest England are covered by an amber warning by the UK Met, and a few areas in the far southeast, in, in the far southeast of England as well. Elsewhere, you've got a yellow warning. I would not rule the charts out of a red warning being issued for parts of Scotland, especially western areas, um, and also Donegal of Ireland, because some of these models have that severe core of winds passing very close to 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 um, Donegal. Um, into Monday, winds are so blustery, but not as severely so as they'll be on Sunday evening. And it's Tuesday, again, as I've mentioned before, there's a risk of a storm, um, if it's named, it will be called Storm Jocelyn, um, with that core of intense winds there. But that that isn't quite as intense as Storm Isha. So here is the NAO index of blood and forecasters. So we're currently rising to a more positive level with the NAO, hence the... Uh, low pressure dominated weather, you know, westerly winds. And it will say and it will say this way into the start of February. So here's a GFS twelve Z run. So again some E shirt will barrel in tomorrow, bringing uh, a big battering of rain, wind and so on. Beyond that we go into a storm on Tuesday again. And then into Wednesday and Thursday, still a settle but not as stormy as it will be tomorrow and Tuesday. And into the weekends, just westerly winds High to the south, low to the north, so on, so on, so on. Um, until we get towards the end of January, start of February, we get a slight build of high pressure from the south, that's dry and mild, but look at that. Oh my, now that is, an, that is an intense polar vortex, an intense PV. Look at the severity, the intensity of that purple towards black. Um, it's red, the black colour is very rare on this sort of chart, but it's there, right over Greenland, so an intense PV, no blocking, just a very mild, exceptionally mild southwesterly flow into early February. If this keeps up, February is in trouble. And I will tell you this, the, the, the uh, large models are kind of wobbling on February blocking now. Yeah, so moving on. Uh, deep PV remains, uh, well, actually it kind of weakens off by Monday, February 5th, but I mean, that's what, that's about 23 days away, I think that is, so I really wouldn't put any money on that, um, is it, no, sorry, it's not, it's, it's 16 days away, two weeks and two days, 16 days, um, here is the ECMWF run, so here's the ECM, ECM is looking at this, so, Again, some Isha battering us tomorrow, followed by a shower day on Monday, then a storm day on Tuesday, into Wednesday. It's very mild and wet there on Thursday. Generally more high pressure into Wednesday, Thursday and Friday and so on, and the weekend as well. And it just stays westerly, really, with spells of rain and winds. Um, by Tuesday, Tuesday, January 30th, high to the south, low to the north. Big PV there again, and up comes up comes the very mild wind from southwest. UK Met Run has not recovered from its flip up, so here is the gem. GEM Run, looking at this day, what we have for us, gem. Okay, so here's the GEM. So we're going in stormy tomorrow, Sunday. That's been highlighted for a long time now, so we we won't dwell on that. But tomorrow morning, I think we will release a storm watch for Stormisha. Um, it's a Tuesday and so on, ne next load comes in, battering the country, and then into Thursday and Friday, more rain coming in, until the weekend actually, we do see a more strong build of high pressure here, but it's drier miles, um, but it's drier here, the precip forecast, what does that show, yeah, it's dry, it's dry, upper temperatures, very warm, cloud cover, uh, actually that's quite decent, that's clear. That's a clear, mild and dry high. 
dare I say it, that, that, that'd be spring luck. And moving forward towards the final, the final, the final days of January, the, the ridge just starts to move eastwards, very deep low to our west, that's barreling in with a jet stream, and that will surely bring a belt of rain winds after that spring like spell. Uh, here is the icon. Here's the icon run. Let's go with this and let's go. So again, stormy into tomorrow Sunday. Um, it always looks more severe on the icon, but I say it's because that is a high res chart. And going forward, we see it's on Tuesday again, and going further on, it just stays westerly, but with more high pressure influences, especially over the weekend there. But and the icon also has a, a very intense PV over Greenland. And that will just scuff at any chances of blocking. Um, here is the Arpege run, finally. Here's the Arpege. Here we go. Again, the Arpege looking at this. So, deep storm tomorrow, Sunday, that's from Isha. And after that, we see original Monday evening, briefly drier and less windy. Tuesday is wet windy again. Wednesday is drier, breezy as well. Thursday goes very mild, wet again. Um, again, deep PV towards Greenland. Well, what some runs are showing is for heights to rise towards Scandinavia, but if even if it happens, you know, you've got this energy over Greenland that will scuffer the chances of easterly winds being brought in because you have the lows to our west barreling in, and with that level, that level of energy, there's no way that uh, a Scandi high could, you know, oppose that. So thanks for watching everyone, I will see you tomorrow and uh, th that's when I will update you, I will update you about Storm, Storm Isha. So, so thanks for watching and bye for now.